Hi, we're Caroline and Ian, a British couple who've given up work, sold the house, given away their possessions and are back on tour. On tour, <laughs> we are. We've moved into Greece for three months because Bulgaria won't let us stay there any longer. And we are out to see how Christian faith and van life work together. I learned on... hopping in Greece on a wing and a prayer. Wing and a prayer. <laughs> in our Bulgarian journey so we're gonna to have to say goodbye to the house goodbye to the lane and uh, it's three months so the biggest problem we're gonna have this morning will be we'll be getting Delilah into the car hey so the biggest problem we're gonna have this morning is getting Delilah into the bus she already knows that we're go, getting ready to go. She's seen all the bags going in. She's started to get mithered. Um, I'm driving the bus down to Burgas today, which is an hour and a 20 minutes journey. Also taking it to the garage. First time I've done that to put some fuel in it. Ian's taking the hire car. And um, yep, this is it. How are you feeling, Mr. A? Good, good, fine, my love. How are you feeling about the leave? Well, this, is, this is what we set out to do, isn't it? It is. I know it's sad. Well, the plan isn't to get stuck in a house. The plan is to travel, go and have a venture. <laughs> See, people think that it's me that pushes him and does all the daft things. But Mr. A also has an amazing heart of adventure. Okay. We are ready to move, but one thing that we are getting done in that corner there, when we get back, will be a beautiful toilet. Christo's going to put a toilet in for us to make it easier than using the caravan cassette thing that we've been using. So, uh, when we get back in June, I hope we'll be all right. The problem is that the ceiling is a little bit low. So us men, just be aware, cannot stand upstairs on the toilet we have to sit. But, uh, yep, some changes afoot when we get back. And now the house is all locked up. Oh, excuse me for spinning around so quick. Uh, oh, one of the things I did was put a grab rail up for Merle. I think we talked about that in the last vlog. Anyway, uh, everything's all tidied and all ready to go. So we're on our way. Hello, happy Sunday. We woke at seven o'clock this morning with good intentions of getting on the road early and at it early. But fortunately, just things have happened, we've been messing about. So it was two and a half hour round trip to drop the car off, the rental car that we had. Then unfortunately, 
unfortunately, yesterday, I dropped my phone down the toilet, which meant I lost lots and lots of apps, one of which was a banking app that we need to pay the bills for the electric and the water while we're away. And uh, then I had to update everything else. So that took a, a messing about. You didn't want to leave the house. I oh, think, honestly, so truly, I think, we're finding as many excuses as we can to not leave Bulgaria. We've even pulled in in a really mucky, rubbishy lay-by just to have a sandwich, just to give us another little bit of time here. Anyway, cannot procrastinate any longer, Mr. A. We're on a bumpy road and we will shortly be coming to the crossing border for Greece. And then tonight we're planning on going back to Fenari to have a sleep, may stay there a couple of days and uh, just chill out and work out a plan from there. We're doing well with seed stalks. So earlier today I saw a whole flock of stalks, about 20 of them, circling round and round and um, down an alleyway in a little village that we've just passed was a stork's nest with two storks sitting on it. So very excited. I've, I've had my fill of storks. We're taking a bit of a strange um, way to the Greek border, um, a way that Ian's picked. It's shorter, <laughs> but it's definitely bumpier. We're going through loads of these little tiny villages. Spring is out, the blossoms on the trees. We've seen turkeys, goats, sheep, stray dogs, and storks, obviously. But it's so pretty. I do like spring in Bulgaria. Well, it's Sunday evening and we are approaching the border of Greece. crossing that Ian's picked uh, is like a mountain area and it's absolutely beautiful. The roads have been pretty quiet because it's been Sunday. We did stop in a lay-by and have a coffee just so we could stay a little bit longer in Bulgaria <laughs> but our time is definitely running out. I mean we've got minutes left now, absolute minutes. So We'll see you on the other side of the border crossing. Goodbye Bulgaria! We'll be back soon. Well we're staying in Bulgaria a little longer than we thought. We've just got to the border crossing, well just before the border crossing and BG Toll have stopped us and said we don't have a vignette uh, which is like the road tax. So we've shown them that we've got one online and they've taken it, uh, they've had a look at it and um, we said look we've, this is what we've used for the past three months and everybody who stopped us said yes it's fine, our mistake, sorry. Um, They've now taken Ian away <laughs> and said that we have a fine from last year when we was in and this was when um, at the border crossing they put us down as the wrong weight and we've spoke to people since then everything's been fine but this border patrolman is determined to get us and fine us for something so it's sad really because it all depends on who pulls you up everybody else and we've been pulled up five times in three months everybody else has been absolutely fine with us but um he's quite convinced he's going to get us for something so ian's dealing with it and i'll let you know what happens when he gets back You'll be glad to see Ian is safely installed back in the driving seat just before we cross the border. I punched the lights out! <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Ian? Um, I started crying. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I just explained to him that last year they made a mistake on their system and five times we've been told that that, that mistake is supposed to have been fixed. So he's looked for this year to see how we've been driving in the van this year and there's nothing at all so he said okay just go go so it looks like i'll have to put up with him for a little bit longer that's us over the border into greece and i think we've missed 
miss the sun going down, but never mind. Still a chance. We might have the golden hour, which is after the sun. actually affected my head the altitude we're having carbonara for tea and I'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving <laughs> sunglasses on it's nice out there. <laughs> well we came out on sunday the uh, 17th and we had a beautiful sleep again guess where Fenari. yes we're here again and uh, honestly it was beautiful and quiet we had a fantastic sleep and we've woke up this morning and the car park is absolutely full there are people everywhere now we do know that it's a bank holiday monday and we will go out onto the beach and show you what's happening but look at this this car park was empty about uh half ten this morning and all of a sudden everybody's out they're desperately trying to get some kites in the air as you can see there's a couple of kites they've managed to get them up because today apparently is a special day for the orthodox christians now for the muslims it's the start of ramadan for the christians it's the start of lent and apparently what they do on this day is go out find a open space in order so that they can fly kites and the flying of the kites is to celebrate resurrection I take it that must be the freedom that we have. Hmm. And I'll find out what the day is and I shall put it on the screen. No. Well, today's really nice and sunny and it's turned out really nice. This is the kites all flying on the beach. <laughs> the dads are actually having more fun than the kids so we've been watching the kids get to play with them for about five minutes tangle them up then the dads take over look at them it's all the dads that are doing the kite flying and they seem to be doing a good job of getting them up and the significance of the kites is because this is the start of the Easter celebrations it's the... called do you want me to read it it's called Cathra de Fera and it means Clean Monday and it's the beginning of Lent among Orthodox Christians and it is the day in Greece that they fly kites which are a symbol of the resurrection and they go on picnics outdoors. Clean Monday is called clean because um, they suggest that you should be starting Lent with a clean heart and a pure spirit. So initially today people would fast until midnight and then they're only allowed to eat bloodless things which includes um, mollusks and uh, shrimpy things and stuff like that so I'd be quids in, poor Ian wouldn't um, and we were thinking of going out for tea tonight. The Bible verse that they use for today is all about forgiving your brother as Jesus forgives your sins and that's the idea of uh, moving forward with no baggage, no anger, no pain uh, and just giving it all you know back and starting afresh. We would think of this as being Ash, Ash Monday uh, or is it Ash Wednesday? Anyway, um, that's, that's their 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 way of celebrating it here it's the same as our ash day and uh, yep families are all out enjoying the day and uh, we're looking forward to celebrating with them
finale where we came last time there wasn't a single person around look at it today it's as busy as anything crazy i can imagine what it must be like in summer it's really busy around here it's uh got something going on in the square so we're going to, or down yeah down in the square and we're going to see what it is i think there's a bit of live music that's what they call it. One of the benefits of van life is you never know what life's going to throw up at you. And I mean throw up at you. At home in four walls, um, you're totally in control of what's happening with your day. Out here, because you're on other people's pitches, anything could happen. So this morning at 4.30, we had the fishing boats going out. Then we've woken up to this amazing festival. So all good stuff so far. Yeah, let's see. quiet in the skies now it's the day after the uh, the great freedom and we're picking up the pieces or should <laughs> I say Caroline is actually liberating a kite <laughs> I'm not stealing it so somebody has gone and left the kite in the air tied to this old log so I'm going to have a play with it and it's just my kind of kite it's got princess on it so if anyone sees the vlog and it's their kite please <laughs> claim it back if it's needed yeah fairy tale princess Ian, you've been liberated <laughs> it's good because after our board meeting yesterday we did realize that we're going to have to start being careful with money and i wanted to play with a kite and here we have I have a kite for free. Oh, there you go. Prayers are answered again. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I think this is going to be one wasted afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had a kite day yesterday, so we watched the kites go up. Then last night, we watched the kite run of the movie. If you've not seen it, have a watch of it. It's really good. So I did learn some tips and tricks on how to get this up watching the movie. And... Um, <laughs> Look at the tail on this. She probably didn't watch How pretty is that? <laughs> the problem we have is hmm? there does not appear to be a breath of wind at all. <laughs> Whichever way I move, there's just oh, no wind. So, so I'm going to be the kite runner. Are you going to run? Or <laughs> no, I'll, I'll run. Do you remember that with the kids? <laughs> <laughs> Used to run right to the other end of Southport Beach, <laughs> trying to get the thing up in the air. By the time you got back, they'd had the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw the I think the wind's blowing this way. So, so I'll come round. I got. Remember, don't forget the wet finger. Give it a try. <laughs> I think it's coming that way, this way. So do I have to go this way? Oh yeah. Doing something. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. She learned a lot from the movie, just like I said. <laughs> We'll see you in about an hour <laughs> when she's still all tangled up. Do you remember the video yesterday when all the dads took over flying the kites? He's only going to nick the kite off me. All I'm allowed to do is hold it at this end. Right, I'm ready, love. Go on. Just run. We've turned this into a micromanaging project. I was all for just throwing it up in the air. Oh, oh, there she goes. Princess Kite. There goes Mr. Ray, legging it down the beach. <laughs> but she's up in all her beauty. We're flying a kite.
<laughs> Ian's going for a run again. Oh, and there she comes down again. Well, that didn't last for long, did it? I think we perhaps need to either Google how to fly a kite or watch the kite runner again. It's up, it's up, it's up. Mr. A's still running for dear life, but the kite's up. <laughs> it's just said, see you in Bulgaria. <laughs> oh my, he's still running. Oh, it's up though. Yay, we're flying a kite. Well, Ian's flying a kite. I'm at the other end of the beach. Oh, it's coming down again. <sighs> Give it a tug, Mr. A. Yep, he's pulling it back up again. Good man. Keep pulling at it. Oh, it's wilting. And it's down. Oh well, I think there's more to it than flying this kite. But at least we can enjoy the scenery. And I'm tempted to get in for a swim in a bit. So calm. It looks misty, but it's really warm. Well, you know you've gained a bit of winter weight when it takes you 10 minutes to get your wetsuit on. <laughs> I tell you, this is... Yeah, it was a very hard work getting this on. So we've decided we're going to go paddle boarding. The weather's not so good, but we did touch the water with our hands and it felt warm to our hands, but we don't know what it's going to feel like to our bodies. So we've put our wetsuits on. I've got mine on and Mr. Ray's still trying to get into his. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he looks a bit like, do you remember Mr. Incredible? in those tight suits yeah he's gonna look like mr incredible uh, for all the wrong reasons like myself elastigirl not <laughs> well i take it all back ian actually looks really good in his look he's even got baggy bits <laughs> show how baggy the legs are ian I love you. <laughs> my baggy <laughs> no he's obviously done well this winter what happened to me I don't know. Delilah, are you coming to the beach? Well, yesterday this beach was absolutely full of kite flyers. And now it's completely empty, as it was the last time that we came. Most of the restaurants are shut because they were working yesterday. And we have a lady who's on the way to Thassos. <laughs> I think she's left me making a way to the nearest island, saving on the ferry. So, doing a bit of paddle boarding while we're out. We've been out together, and then I realized that I didn't, uh, I didn't bring my phone out to catch her. But the, uh, the water is absolutely still today. So, might even get to stand up. Not very good for windsurfing, but for paddling and maybe doing a bit of paddle boarding, it should be okay. And we've got with us Delilah keeping her eye on the bags and make sure that nobody gets, actually, there's nobody to get into the bags. <laughs> so here we are. We have met uh, another traveller, he's actually from Bulgaria, sorry if I'm spinning around too fast again, but uh, he's brought his camper over and uh, our camper is here again, there's Frankie, we always end up in the same spot, we usually go to this corner here and they've got water on in this corner over here so what that's allowed us to do is fill up with water um, so we're all sorted now the solar has been kicking in beautifully and we've not used any lpg since we filled it up 
when we came into Bulgaria. So we've got full tanks, the electric's working brilliant, it's free park up, and we've got water. Oh, and there's bins as well. So apart from finding somewhere to dump the waste, which at the moment we don't have to because we've only been here for a few days, but uh, as long as we're sparing with the things that we do, we should be okay. Oh, that was a quick trip. So, <laughs> yeah, she's made it back to land. She decided not to go to Vassos after all. Probably just a bit too far. Ah, oh, Delilah loves it a bit. Mr. Ray is being adventurous. So this is his first time this year. He's going to have a go at paddle boarding. That water is bitterly cold. That's why I sat down and kayaked for fear of falling in. And I like cold water. I'm going to make a fool of myself. <laughs> he says he's going to make a fool of himself. I don't think so. He's actually got pretty good balance. <laughs> the water is so, so calm and still that it's a shame not to give it a try. So off he goes, getting his balance on his knees. And then like a gazelle, he will spring to his feet. Okay, an aged gazelle. And he's off. Well done, Ian.